this is uh, raising an issue that is has been talked about a lot in the United States. Um, Maggie Block asks, while I or comments perhaps, um, while I want authors to tell stories outside of their experience, I wonder what you think could be done to encourage more authors of color. And then I can't read the rest of the sentence. Um, for some reason, I'm not able to open that. But um, more authors of color from other countries, perhaps, or from the United States, um, to write um, some of these stories. I think for for me, with Born Confused, with my first book, one of the things that I wanted to to do in writing that book is um, get that South Asian American, you know, that. A particular shade of brown girl story onto a bookshelf, and and one thing I had wondered about, I didn't wonder about it growing up, but in later years I wondered what kind of a difference it would have made to have books on my bookshelf growing up with characters who were more like my family and like the places where they were from, um, to have more people who looked like us on screen, on you know, in film and television and advertising, broadcasting the news, etc., and. Um, I, uh, that's not to say I didn't absolutely love Jane Austen as well and Charles Dickens and, you know, all of these great writers, but I just wondered what that, what that kind of, um, would have done in terms of feeling a, a different sense of kind of being um, valued and, and part of the, the culture at large. You know, when I was growing up, we were always taking off other on forums because they'd have sort of Asian, Pacific Islander, all these different categories and, I could never, you know, I'm quite geographically challenged anyways, but as far as I could see, I wasn't from any of those places on the map. I was from the, the room that I was in filling the form out in. Um, so anyway, so for me, that's that's what I did with the first book. With the second one, although obviously it deals with culture because it's an Indian American character in India, and I'm, I'm still very interested in those things, I did want to move beyond that, and the, the color I ended up exploring is blue, um, rather than brown, which my first book was uh, uh, sort of more about. And um, Dimple also is taking color photography in the new book. She uh, starts out the first book taking black and white. And um, that was kind of my own um, kind of transition from, you know, feeling the need to get that story out there that deals specifically with race and then kind of just moving beyond that and dealing more with Dimple as an artist and a young woman and, you know, a person kind of navigating human relationships and her place in the world uh, generally as well. And um, I, I would say as well to never underestimate the value of your own story. And sometimes I found, especially with Born Confused, I found that some of the things that seemed the most mundane to me um, ended up being some of the most interesting passages to readers, unless they were lying to me. I don't think they were. Um, and these were these things were the things that I knew best, which is why they were sort of the mundane things for me, obviously. But they were also the things that were kind of the most uh, organic to my experience and my cultural experience. And um, so I would say never underestimate that. We want to hear all of your stories. There are people who are listening. The more you tell the stories, the more people are going to listen. And, um, and do it. We want to hear you. We want to hear ourselves. We want to hear you and just make it, you know, it, it will become a beautiful song. We need every person's part, every person's musical bit, voice, lyrics, verses, all of that stuff, and we can create something, you know, really quite amazing. And I think it's, it's already in progress, which is quite exciting. And absolutely, I feel that um, as a writer, you have the right, as a writer, part of what you do is you slip into the skins of other people, whatever that, the color of their skins may be. And, um, and you learn a lot of empathy that way, you teach a lot of empathy that way, and when you do that, when you get below the skin, you arrive at the place where we're all really the same. You know, the heart's beating, hopefully, your stomach's, you know, got hopefully something in it, maybe it's a, you've got a stomach, <laughs> and um, that's uh, that's the place where we can all meet, it's under the skin. So, back to you. <laughs> 